feet and the straight ankle. Now, um, so that we don't just have heel hooks <laughs> from there. <laughs> we can actually go to straight ankles when we get to the position. I panicked, right? man. He gave the heel hook. <laughs> you know? So let's go mount. <clears throat> Right, so one of the ways we get to this Oshi is just off of a mount escape, right? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, um, a version of the hip bump that's similar to like the reverse Alcatraz, right? So reverse Alcatraz, we come over and we grab this and we bring our knees to our chest. I can do that without hooking his leg, right? The only reason I hook his leg is to keep him from sliding up to the, to the high mount, right? This helps me keep his leg down, right? So but if he's staying down here, like I don't even have to do that. Does that make sense? Right, so when I'm here, my hands are coming into the hips and I'm bringing both of my knees to my chest. I just shoot out to this Oshi. Okay. Right, and when I get here, I'm diving this in for this straight ankle. And now I'm just gonna keep going and go right the belly down, widen my base, and I'm gonna slide out to finish. Okay. Right. <laughs> Again, we're here, hands on the front of the hips. Right? If he's pushing here to push his hips backwards real far like this, this is why I'm going to be able to escape. Does that make sense? Right? Again, it's the same as what, it's the same as what we were doing with um, lockdown. If I can't, if he's like pushing hard to push his hips back, or I can't push his hips forward to start this process, that means all his weight's back here, that means I can push his leg down. Does that make sense? Right? So it's when he's kind of sitting here and he's not really pushing, he's just kind of faced, right? So that's when I can come in and bring him and shoot and I'm catching right away. I'm just shooting this in and connecting my forearm to my hip, right? I'm gonna drive in for that, that wreath, come up to my forehead, widen my base so that he can't keep turning us, right? And now I just slide out to finish. <clears throat> That makes sense. Let's do it. Three, two, one. When I get my double unders, okay. I'm elevating him. Right. right. So for me, this is my le this is leg entries all day, every day. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm just gonna shoot him, elevate him, and start attacking his legs. Okay. Right. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, because when I get double unders, it's way too easy for me to elevate him. Right. Right? And if I have underhooks, if I go to the side, he has a post. He has a post. Um, right? So I either have to take him this way, or if he won't let me elevate him because he's sitting back hard, then I just drive into him and come on top. So, okay, you don't want to go side. Okay, you just want to go straight back or forward. <clears throat> Not sideways. Correct. Because okay. both of his arms are free, so he can post. Right. And you want to right? keep your head in the center. I want my head in the center, and at the very least, under your chin. If your head gets lower than mine, <clears throat> even if I have double underhooks, if your head's lower than mine, this is nothing. Right. Right? Because he can just drive into me and flatten me out. Right? And then I, I still don't have much. And then he can start working to, to break my grips. <clears throat> right? I don't have the ability to elevate him because I'm not underneath him. And are you, like, pulling your elbows up while you pull it, or are you just... Yeah, I'm lifting him up. Because <laughs> I don't want my double unders to turn into his double overs. Yeah. Okay. So he's either going to post or face plant there. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? Yeah, if he doesn't post his hands, then it ends up being a back roll to the mount. Okay. Right? Everybody posts. They don't like to smash their face into the mount. <laughs> so. <laughs> a couple times, right? Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while. <laughs> so. All right. Does that make sense? Um, if you're standing. <laughs> and I managed to get double unders and I'm here, this is when I just want to bend him in half, right? So I get my arms just a little bit lower than my head. I pull my arms in and I push with my head. Oh. <clears throat> Your head's the same spot. You're not, okay. It's horrible, right? It is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. So, right you gotta like try and turn because if you don't, you're falling flat to your back of your head. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just, if I get my hands just a little bit lower than my head, when I drive my head in and pull my arms, it just... Wait, so to defend that, if you get that, I want to yeah. get lower than you? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. You want to work your head back underneath mine? Okay. <clears throat> it starts working, instead of like lower, is this when you start to like switch off? Start, yeah. 
Yeah, cut angles, right? So if he has, you know, get your head low, yeah. So if he's here and he's doing this, I want to start popping angles, right? So that he doesn't have that pressure and then I can start pummeling my way back in. Okay. <clears throat> right? <clears throat> Yep. So, I, during the tournament, when he had me down in the ground, I was pushing his arm out. Mm -hmm. That Heisman escape we were talking about? Oh, yeah, dude. Can you show it to me? Like, Absolutely. You almost had that. Genocide. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, go genocide. It was sick. It was sick, dude. Yeah, so you were here. He made this switch like he was going twist your side, right? You had this. Right? You were here. Right? So, all you needed to do was push off of this foot and get to this elbow. Right? So, I reach up. I push and I come out. That is so funny. He was heavy. Now, what if he's heavy? <laughs> You're gonna have to work at it, right? Yeah. You know. So yeah. if he's staying heavy and he's also heavy. Yes, yeah, so make this the switch, right? So he's here, right? I just keep pushing him. Push, yeah, so I'm right? trying to get up on top of shoulder. Yeah. Push I think, him I, think I did that to okay. Lynette. All right. I just, I if I get my arm straight, he can't come back unless you right? bend it. Unless I bend it. Right? This is a frame. He's not going to he's not gonna collapse my arm here. Right. I don't care how big he is. Right? So as soon as I get my arm straight and I'm there, I just keep pushing him toward the corner and towards my feet and I just keep shrimping my way out. Okay. Right? Damn. Just getting hands that technique. Hey, you were almost there though. Right? I'm it glad you I mean it was good you you had the instinct to push on it. Right? You know, because it's the same thing like if he gets if he gets full twist your socks, right? And he's here. And I'm able to frame and start coming away, I can come back to that. Right, okay, okay. Right? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, so it's it's just a matter of once I get that, you were just staying there. You were like this, but you weren't moving. Right. Right? So once I get that frame, I just have to start getting away. Getting away. Gotcha. Right? <clears throat> and I have another question. So when I was, I was trying to get a triangle, mm -hmm. but I found that I could I put his arm down, and I was trying to push him up, but he kept getting up. How could I keep him? Yeah, both could keep his posture broken. And I kept getting his legs. I kept getting my legs on top of his uh, shoulders. Right, I was like, damn. Man. Okay, so you were getting the one arm in, one arm out, but then you were having a hard time breaking his posture to right. get to the full triangle. Oh. <clears throat> so you got here, and then he's posturing up as well. Yes. All right, so he's here. Right, so here's the here's the thing to remember. So, like, if he was let's go full triangle, if he was trying to escape the triangle, the first thing he needs to do is get his head up. And the way he's going to do that is not by lifting his head because he's not going to be able to. He's going to have to walk his hips forward, right, to get his head up. Right. So if I want to break him down, I want to get his head in front of his hips. Mm. So pull your knees to your own head. Right? I just bring my knees towards my face. And when his head comes past his hips, his posture breaks. Does that make sense? It does. Right? So it's one of those things where right here, it's easy to stay postured up. Right here, you can't do it anymore. Right? The moment my head gets over, gets in front of my center of gravity, now I'm just going to break down. <clears throat> right? Yep, so just bring your knees towards your head to bring his posture forward and then break him down. <laughs> That's this? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do I? I just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to keep your right foot planted on the mat, start scooting your hips away to extend your leg. Oh, I got closer. Yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> no. I do this. I got closer. No, it's yeah, so that just makes it tighter. Yeah, right. Start opening that up. Okay. Okay. Because like we both heard a pop. I thought it was all this. <laughs> Turns out it was my knee. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> this in here. You're connecting there, and then you want this leg to come over the top. Over the top. I saw like that. You're like. Okay. So you're like that. So when I step in and you start doing this, I'm gonna plant. Oh great. Gotcha. Back step. Oh, right okay. to four eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Kyle Chambers hit hit me with that like three times at headquarters. Nice. So 
Yeah. The back slip or the capsule? No, that capsule is there. Okay. Like he hits it from a bunch of different places. Yeah. It's really annoying. <laughs> so. It is very annoying. <laughs> so, but yeah.